It's more efficient to eat all like from top to bottom anyway, because um, you're not having to like find different ways to hold it when you get all the way around the circumference of it. Um, so if you go just straight through, you can hold it from the bottom and have a solid base the whole time. And when you get the core, you don't have to like have somewhere to put it or throw it away. You just it's all gone. Spit the seeds out. Keep moving. When I was the drum major fourth year, I was talking to my high school band director who had retired since I had gone to college. Um, and her daughter went to UVA, so she was like, you know, I'm going to come up and see you in the marching band one of these years. Um, and it hadn't worked out the first three years. And I was like, Miss J, like, um, I'm, I'm a drum major this year. It would really mean a lot for me if you came and, and saw me um, and saw the band perform. And she came to one of the first games, I, I think it was the second game of the season, so I had one dry run of going through the pregame without falling and <laughs> going through the half times and everything without falling or making a fool out of myself. And then um, I wasn't able to catch up with her after the game, um, but it was just like, you know, just how proud of me she was and like seeing me, you know, go from the high school kid she knew to the time that I was in the band. So it's not exactly a specific CMB memory, but being able to represent my hometown and my band and that in my high school band in that way, for her to see that was really pretty cool. Um, and then another tale from fourth year, we um, had to rush out of the stadium following, it was a win, but I forget who we beat. Uh, it was only two or three that year, so it's kind of sad that I don't remember. But um, it was, there was a storm approaching really quickly from up behind the stadium, so the band really didn't know what was going on. And so we had to rush people across and up to the SAB pretty quickly um, right after the game. So we didn't play anything after the game. Um, so uh, the four of us drum majors were running around trying to get things together and trying to get the podiums off, trying to get everybody across. Um, and we had left our swords, our... Uh, Oh, like sort of off to the side of the field and as we we're running around and that was kind of our the last thing we were thinking about was those um, and we we're like okay we're all done we're gonna go back to the SAB now and I think S Steph Bell, Cameron Ludit, they went back um, to, <laughs> to the SAB and Aurelia and I were gonna grab the swords and follow them up the stairs and they weren't there. And we were like, oh my God, where, where did they go? Um, so we ran back to see if they had taken them and they hadn't. So we ran, Aurelia and I ran back, um, ran back to the stadium and talked to one of the stadium officials. At this point, it's like pouring down rain. We're like, where are the swords? We're in so much trouble. Don't want to talk to Mr. Cook about this. Um, and uh, we talked to one of the, the grounds crew people, and they're like, oh, yeah, we just carried them back into the locker room. They're back in the coach's office. And we're like, great, okay, awesome. So we went back, like, into the tunnel, and the football team's all, like, celebrating and stuff. And um, um, the, we were still in uniform, and, and the, one of the grounds crew people were like, oh, you guys looking for these? And we were like, yeah, if it was that easy, sure. So he just hands them over, and as soon as he hands them over, like, Coach London turns the corner and we're like, oh, great game, coach. And he's like pounding on us and stuff. So it was like a lot of fun just to be a part of that little bit of celebration after like a time of like complete panic of losing the sword. So ran back through the rain and got into the SAB before anybody noticed. I don't know exactly how it happened fourth year, but um, the picking up, driving of the, driving of the drumline truck sort of fell into my responsibility and so I was like driving that thing around and we had Cameron in the passenger seat and I think Andrew Bennett Jackson was in the back maybe and he was trying to hold uniform racks and coolers um, we're driving around um, trying to go pick up Mr. Costin and the uniform crew and the game day crew over at the stadium Mr. Cook's calling me because I'm because we're late and I'm like driving you know, like a grandma trying to get over there, but I don't want to crash this truck because that's obviously a bad look. Um, and then having to pull it back up onto the onto the sidewalk in front of the in front of the band building is harder than it looks, that's for sure. Um, as far as the band building goes, that was that was pretty awesome. Just having that as like a um, 
essentially a gift from Ms. Smith um, and getting to sign the beam and being a part of all of that process and then being part of the dedication ceremony was just really, really cool. And um, the video that, that you did and the video and just the way that it touched Mr. Pease um, and, and how honestly he spoke that day was just really, really cool to see. Not that he doesn't speak honestly other days, I'm just saying just, it was very, obviously very meaningful for him um, to have been a part of that whole process. Um, and I know that he works extremely hard and they all do cook and cost and for that and, and for those things to pay off in that way. It's really, really cool. Mr. P says that every year the band keeps getting better and better and this year is much better than his band last year and so on and so on and so on. And some of that I think is him just, you know, being complimentary of the current group. Um, but I think it's really true. I mean, I think it just gets tighter and tighter with the visuals. It gets tighter and tighter with the music. And there's just a higher standard of year after year. Um, so I think specifically going back to be a part of the alumni band last year um, and then hearing some of the other people, um, the, the alumni that the alumni group that was had graduated before, even before me, because I was only one year removed, here it's saying like, oh, that visual isn't around anymore. Oh, that one, we used to do that one and it was just our section. Or we used to do that one and they didn't, you know, really even notice we were doing it, you know. And then for me as a fourth year, Mr. Cook had a meeting with all the DIs and said, you know, we're going to eliminate these section by section visuals and we're going to make it you know, more as a group because it really, when you're looking at it from across the stadium, you can tell when, you know, 15 or 30 people aren't doing the same thing as everyone else. Um, you know, so in, in some ways it, it has gotten, um, you know, that might be a little less fun because each group doesn't have an opportunity to really show what they want to do. Um, yeah, but at the same time, um, those groups are all, all the opinions are brought together in those DI meetings and then it's taken out to the sections. And so there's, you know, it's just gotten more about the band as a whole rather than individual sec sections. And I think that that is really important because you can kind of get lost in just your section and all of a sudden uh, you, know, you don't know it from anything else from left to right what's going on. And so I think it's just gotten tighter as a group, which is really impressive because it's also gotten bigger as a group. So that's another way that it's changed is, is just from my first year to my fourth year, we added 20 or 30 drill spots. Um, so just seeing the growth of the pregame, seeing the growth of the halftime shows, and then when we're in the stands, it's just hearing how you know much more full the sound is. Um, as far as like the musicianship quality, I feel like is improved. Um, I didn't really add a lot to that. <laughs> I added the most to it maybe when I stopped playing my fourth year, um, but it's just it was really um, you know, just the way that it's gotten tighter, louder, just continuing to be impressive. To go back to just from the beginning, you learn to um, you know gravitate to people. You learn to get to know different people. Um, it's just such a diverse group of individuals, and then you all have sort of the common goal of putting the best show out there. Um, but you really learn to get to know people that are different from you, and that may just be you know a different background, and it may be just like a. Um, or a different uh, instrument, but it may also be like a completely different uh, background, cultural, where they grew up, something, anything. Um, you know, it's just, it put me into a huge group of people right away that, that I you know, had to find a way to make friends and different things like that. And I think it exposes you. It, it's good exposure for down the line when you fall into a, a large group setting in a class or um, somewhere that you're working or something like that, you just you learn ways to get to know people because you spent I spent a ton of time with people in the band, you know. So you, you learn ways to get to know people and I develop my leadership skills in a lot of ways um, as a section leader and then as drum major and even as a first year, just you know, uh, always knowing music and always knowing drill and always being prepared. Um, that was things that that Mr. P stressed and Mr. Cook, Mr. Edzier. Mr. Costin, everybody was just like, if you're prepared and and you understand where you're supposed to be, you know, we'll have a productive rehearsal, we'll have a productive time together. So, you know, being prepared and then as a leader, having others be prepared and setting that standard of preparedness um, 
is helpful for anything that you do because if you're if you're there you know just showing up is what some you know some people lack <laughs> so if you're just showing up and you're prepared and ready to go um, with everything in life it's you know extremely beneficial and that setting that standard I think is was something that came from the band.